lesbians like cats. Why do studs use straps and are y'all trying to be me? What's up world? It's your girl need to be aka Young Show and I'm back with another video. Hey, if this y'all first time coming across this channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Go and like this video and then turn on post notification bells on so y'all can know every time I'm dropping these bangers, you feel me? Because I'm getting it in, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to drop at least two a week. At least two. Because, you know, we still work. We got to still do our thing, our grind. So, go ahead, join the squad so y'all can know when I'm dropping these bangers. And everybody else, for the few people who have the subscribe button, I appreciate y'all. And welcome back to the channel. So, now that we even got the business out the way, let's go and get into this video. Y'all can tell by the title what's going on already. I ain't trying to talk about nobody, and I ain't talking about a stupid, dumb, crazy, but some of these questions these straight people be asking us be crazy. Like, crazy, crazy. Like, are you serious type of crazy? Like, man, it's 2022, and y'all still ain't got the memo on what's going on? So today, I'm answering the stupid questions straight people ask us. Y'all ready to get into this video? Don't like it? Let's go. Question number one. Why do studs use straps and are y'all trying to be men? Hell no. I'm not trying to be a man. I ain't trying to be your man. I'm just trying to strap you down. That's all it is to it. A strap ain't gonna make me no man. Cause I can put it on when I need to do my thing. And then I can take it back off. But you know it's time to be cuddly, you know what I'm saying? It ain't that deep. And I know it's probably a man who said this, like real talk. Nah, I'm not trying to be a man. I ain't trying to look like no man. Just because I dress this way does not make me a man. Clothes don't make me a man. My vagina does. Like, come on, bro, get that in your head. Only thing make you a man and me a woman is our private area. Not the clothes, not that strap, not none of that. It's a mindset. I ain't trying to speak for everybody, I'm talking about myself. I do not think I'm a man. I don't want to be a man. I just like the same thing. Period. Period! Next question. Why are some studs... Why are some studs touch me not? I don't know. That's a good question. You know, I used to, you know, be like that when I was a little younger. I think it's more of a confidence thing. You know, you're trying to be all tough and all that, you know, boom, boom. But... It's okay to, you know, be on that feminine side. Because, you know, sometimes you can deal with a female who don't want to be touched or don't even want to touch you. It just, you know, because we all going through the motions. Sometimes, you know, you get a girlfriend. They just, you know, we all experiment. And, you know, we got to find ourselves. So I ain't just, you know, about it. But sometimes you just got to be comfortable in your own skin. And I feel like that's why it's some touch me nots, you know. They still trying to, you know, mentally get together. But once you get older, you know, you get you get right. So, hell, I, <laughs> it's a two-way street run. There ain't no one way you're going to come back down this thing. If you, th if you get what I'm saying, <laughs> okay, then. <laughs> Touch me not. Touch me, please. How you doing? Boy, if you don't get... Question number three. Are studs intimidated by other studs? Me, personally, I think it'll go back to a confidence thing. Like, I'm not intimidated by no stud. You just, but, you know, I feel like we lack it. You know, especially where I'm from. We lack it. like two or three good studs around here. So, we all just, you know, like some little horned dogs just trying to hump on everything. So, I feel like it's more of a confidence thing. If you know who you is or what you stand for, you ain't really worrying about nobody else. But, you know, if you see you got a little competition or you got your little stud friend over there who, you know, Get a little attention. You want the attention or you want their spot. I feel like it's like that. But, I, you know, we can be stud bros. You know, I can be cool. I ain't tripping on that. But it's a confidence thing. I ain't worried about you. You ain't worried about me. Yeah, we can get them together if you want to. Holler at me, dog. Holler at me, dog. For real. It ain't got to be no competition. I love everybody. We all can be cool. But it's really just a mindset. But I ain't intimidated by nobody. Next question. How you know you gay if you never had a man? How you know you straight if you ain't never had a man? Like, what is you talking about? 
it's a why I keep going like for real like it's all a mindset like you know what you want and you know what you attract to now you can be gay straight bi pan whatever you want to call it that's cool that's your preference but it's a mindset i don't have to go try something and necessarily say i don't like it because i'm not attracted to it already you know but everybody gotta go through their own living experiences everybody gotta do their own thing but for me i've had boyfriends before now I, that's a whole nother story time i ain't even gonna give y'all that story right now but i have had a boyfriend before i've had a couple it wasn't really doing what it was supposed to do. I wasn't really liking none of that. It's just, uh, no, I, it wasn't for me. I tried it. Come on back. Because, you know, growing up in the church, you know, you black families, you know, Christians. Like, but, no, I tried it. Didn't like it. Hey, I who I am now, I am who I am. For some people, you don't have to try something to know you don't like it. It's, not, it's like if you wake up one day and not want to, you know, do something you don't have to do it i feel like you know at a younger age but a lot of people try to fight especially in the world today like people and their opinions can really drive a person you know not to be they self and i, I don't want nobody to drive that way i don't want to be no, want nobody to feel like you can't be yourself so for me i've always known but yeah i tried but no so yeah that's the answer to your question I have been with a man, and that's how I know. I don't want one. Next question. Who would ask me, do you still have cycles? Bruh, I'm still a female. Duh. Like, come on. Like, really? Who asked that? Like, I didn't, I didn't. <sighs> Next question. I don't even know why you asked that. Like, that was dumb. Like, I ain't went, got nothing to got nothing like that. Next question. Yes. Next question. Do you ever look at men and find them attractive? Do I look at a man and find them attractive? No. I don't find them attractive to where I want to hop on them. No. I don't want to be like, oh, he fine. Let me go get his number or nothing like that. But, you know, like I tell people all the time, I'm gay. I'm not blind. Like, I know when someone looks like some, or, you know, I can give a man a compliment. I was like, okay, the man doing the thing, you know what I'm saying? Oh, boy, you know, you wearing that, or, you know what I'm saying? I can give a man a compliment. I'm not blind. I know when someone looks like something. And and it's weird to me how some people be like, oh, you think he looked good? I'm like, what's wrong with that? I didn't say I wanted to, you know, hop on, you know, do nothing. I just say he look good, you know, like, it's nothing wrong with saying people are attractive. That's just like I can tell a female she's attractive. I can tell a man he's attractive. That doesn't mean I want you. Period. I'm just, you know, if I see something that look good, hey, you look good today. Thank you. Keep it going. That is all that is. It's nothing extra. It's nothing wrong with complimenting other people. Especially if you're comfortable in your own skin, why not? That's all I'm saying. Show love. Love will come back to you. That's all I'm saying. Next question. Are you attracted to any of your female friends? No. Because I don't have any. <laughs> I don't have any female friends at the moment. I have like family members and like little sisters. So basically what I'm saying is I don't call people my friends. Either you my family or you associate. Because my friends are my family. And I only have two good friends. And I'm not attracted to either one of them. I'm just not. Because I don't look at my friends that way. I mean, when I was younger, in high school, I used to look at everybody as equal opportunity. I can have friends because <laughs> I wanted to touch on all of them. But I'm not like that. You know, you live and you learn. You grow up. You be more mature. So now, no. Nah, I take my friendships very seriously. And they're like family. So what's up to my homies, to my family? Y'all know who y'all is. Two dogs, like my sisters. What's up? And the rest of them, they dudes, you know? I kick it with a lot of guys. So that's basically where I got most of these dumb questions from. But I ain't gonna call nobody names out. So, yeah. I don't like any of my female friends and nor will I ever do that again. 
it, it's just not worth it. Sometimes it's best to have friends. I don't like, and then I feel like I done lost a lot of friends trying to take it somewhere it wasn't supposed to go. So you feel me? So keep your friends at a friend's stance. That's it. Don't date your friends. Don't like on your friends. If you don't like on your friends, don't become their friend. But again, you can't help who you love. So to each his own. <laughs> Next question. Do you watch lesbian porn? <laughs> what? <laughs> no. I don't watch porn at all. I don't I don't do porn. I no, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I keep saying when I was younger, but it's true. When I was younger, when I was first coming out, like my coming out story is so crazy. I jumped off the porch so late in the game. I was like 16, 17, fighting. Seen a little pussy, you know. So, yeah, how that's how I learned. I didn't know what to do. So, you know, Pornhub was popping back in the early 2000s. Pornhub was popping, and I had to learn how to lick it, lick it, stick it, stick it from somewhere. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I didn't have no stud friends, no gay friends. I felt like I was an outsider, like I was alone for a long time. Until I got out of high school. That's when everything opened up for me. But before that, I was out here just green as ever. Didn't know what I was doing. So I had to turn to somebody to be a teacher. I ain't saying who was the best teacher, but you know, it did. You know, it didn't do me wrong. I guess I'm a natural. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> anyway, next question. Do lesbians like cats? Do all lesbians like cats? Like, you mean like the animal cats? Like, that's funny. That's funny. I've been a lesbian all my life, and I just started liking cats. Like, maybe three, four years ago. I've always been a dog person. I've always liked the dogs. But the older I get, I see cats are more chill. You know, they don't do all that barking. They don't want to be all up under you all the time. You really ain't got to clean up after them because they are very clean animals. Like, they cover up, they clean up after they sell. You know, you might have to change a little box or something like that. But other than that, cats are real chill and they're very independent, you know. So, yeah, I like cats because I like my space. And when they want their space, you know, it's cool. So, I can't speak for all lesbians, though. I don't know if all lesbians like cats. Like, this weird. I don't know. But I like cats now, so... Matter of fact, I want to go get a cat. You know, I just moved into my new spot. So, after I get settled in here, then I'm going to go try to get a cat. I wish I could get my old cat back because after I move, I had to give her away. But that's a whole nother story. But, yeah. This lesbian like cats. I don't know about everybody else and their whole cat fetish. I don't know. But, me, yeah. If they ask a question. All right. Next question, and this is the last question. And this question, I wish I, I wish I could remember who asked me this question. But they asked me, do I ever want kids? And if so, how will I have them? Well, I'm not gonna sleep with a man if that's what you're asking me. I'm not gonna do that. But you know, it's all type of ways to have kids. Like, you know, artificial insemination, uh, you know, turkey basters, you know, surrogates. So, whenever I get down that road and get to that level of when I know when I want to have kids, but it's so many other things I want to do before I actually want to bring another child into the situation. I want to, you know, be more established, have a bigger house, you know, have a little bit more money in my bank account, kind of be debt free, My, you know, my credits go up. You know, I don't want to bring a child into the struggle. And the struggle is real right now. So, I'm trying to get my stuff together. So, if I ever, and for real, I do want a kid. I do want a child. I do want to, you know, build a legacy and leave something for them. You know, I want to be able to, you know, get them everything that I never had. So, yeah, we're going to do it like that. So, yeah, those are some of the dumb questions. The last question wasn't really dumb. You know, it's kind of, you know, it's more like a curious question. But some of them questions was dumb as hell. Like, do I think I'm a man and do all lesbian like cat? Like, how the hell do I know what? Anyway, man, 
thank y'all for watching this video, man. I hope they got some of them dumb questions answered for y'all, for the people who was wondering any of that dumb stuff. Like, I know it wasn't a lot of y'all, but who else was wondering that dumb stuff? Look, I hope that I can give you some clarification, especially on my end. But, hey, it is what it is. Thank y'all for watching this video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn them post notification bells on before y'all leave up out this thing. Put them thumbs up blue. And holler at your girl on the next video because it's about to go down, man. Need to be out this thing, you know what I'm saying? Till next time.